Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is a treat for all the GATE aspirants. We are here with Raviteja, who secured All India Rank 2 in GATE 2024 from Electronics and Communication Engineering. But before getting into the video, if you have not joined our Telegram channel, where I share all the exam related updates and job notifications, you can join it from the links in description. Without further ado, let's get started. Hi Raviteja, first of all, congratulations for such an amazing rank in GATE exam. So before getting to know about your yes, journey, thanks. can you give a brief introduction about your educational background and what led you to pursue GATE in the first place? So, so my name is Ravite and I'm from Andhra Pradesh and uh, I'm a graduate of uh, Apatla Engineering College and I graduated in 2021 in the field of electronics and communication. And then I joined Wipro as a VLSI engineer and I worked there for uh, almost two years. Then I resigned in March 2023 and joined ACE Academy. And recently I wrote GATE in 2024. And I got All India Rank 2 electronics paper and uh, All India Rank 11 in instrumentation paper. All India Rank 2 in electronics and All India Rank 11 in instrumentation. Still I could not see any excitement in your face. How did you feel right after seeing your result, Ravitesha? Yes, sir. So the result was completely unexpected. I, was, I checked rank predictors and uh, like i got the same rank i got uh, in real but i didn't believe it that when i saw the actual result and uh, realized that it is the same rank i was like shocked and i was very happy i could see a very modest human being right now so how many marks you got in uh, ec and how many marks you got in iron paper so in ec paper i got 74.33 and in instrumentation i got 73 marks 73 right so was this your first attempt in gate it's not uh, my first attempt completely like i wrote gate for the first time when i was in my final year and uh, i got 36 marks at that time in ec paper 36 marks to 74 marks so whom would you like to give this credit uh, apart from you of course you are the one who did all the hard work and uh, everything so what is the major contributing factor according to you so i joined like this academy uh, in March 2023, I joined uh, an offline mode for the Fed brand. So, actually, the main trade goes to uh, obviously Ace Academy. They, uh, I mean, the lecturers and the materials they have provided helped me a lot developing my concepts and improving my practice uh, on the questions and everything. Uh, like, I, I improved a lot of things from the uh, Ace Academy. So, I will definitely be very to So we have already interviewed a lot of uh, toppers from GATE and Engineering Success Exam. So according to you, what are the resources that one should follow to get a good rank? The main important resource is for any aspirant is the notes itself. Mm -hmm. Because we prepare the notes in such a way we can understand and we prepare in our own language. And obviously I have also uh, done the same while I was attending the classes i used to prepare notes so i made my notes like very clearly and apart from that pvqs are the uh, next most important thing and also by solving pvqs we get to know where we are standing uh, how much we are learning and how much we have to learn next important thing is the test series because we can improve our speed accuracy time management everything i have already told this hundred of times main notes previous year questions and test series apart from these three have you followed any other things yeah these are the main things as far as i can remember gate exam is not like a very difficult one like uh, initially i also thought the same but but now i realize that like it uh, i mean it doesn't require like 100 percent of our dedication everything it only needs our basic understanding of the subject excellent so have you followed any reference books for any of subjects or uh, just these materials uh, no sir i didn't follow any uh, reference books because will take too long to study those and also uh, I felt that those are not required for the exam. And one important question, how do you attempt the question paper? For example, even in a mock test or in the actual exam also, how do you go through the paper? I actually don't have a strategy while attempting the paper. I used to start from the first question I used to end at the last. So I don't actually even look at the mark also that's what i followed in the actual exam also like i started from the first question and ended in the last and i mean if i feel like question is lengthy or tough then i, I will leave it and proceed to the next question otherwise i used to solve it so whenever you find any hard question you just mark it for review 
and then you come back to that question once you finish all the questions right so that's the same thing we also follow and um, raviteja how many marks you used to get in test series initially when i started doing the test i used to get around the 50 or 50 to 60 but later on like they, they were improved to like 70 plus and in the end i used to get in some tests i got 90 plus also sometimes Oh, that's crazy. Like, so were you yeah, always like, the top 10 yeah. in these mock tests? Yeah, I was basically in top 10 in almost all the mock tests. So that's the main factor which gave me the confidence to write the actual test. I mean, If you keep on getting such good yeah, ranks, yes. you will perform the best in the actual exam also. So do you have any advice for uh, future GATE aspirants who are preparing for GATE 2025? Yeah, so... Uh, Actually, I forgot to tell you one thing. There is one mistake that I did like while attempting the test series. I used to do a lot of silly mistakes. I didn't read the questions properly. So I was missing some data and also I was missing the units. Like they have asked in one unit and I was answering in another unit. So the questions uh, used to go wrong. And also I did some calculation mistakes during the test. So what I did, I wrote those mistakes on a piece of paper, but I forgot to... Uh, go through it before the exam so what happened was like i completed the same mistake in the exam also yeah for the aspirant uh, the main suggestion will be for the concepts very clearly because concept understanding is the major important thing during the preparation which i have realized now so if we have a clear concept understanding then we can easily solve the questions that will improve your confidence and automatically you can achieve a good rank don't do this uh, commit these silly mistakes Uh, especially because they cost us some marks in the exam uh, and also they will be very painful if you look at it. In my case, it's fine because even if I have answered a few questions extra or even if I lost a few marks, right. that wouldn't have changed my rank or score. So exactly. These are like suggestions. Yeah. So can you share some effective time management tips uh, for future aspirants? I didn't make any timetable as such because my interest on the subject is the timetable because I used to practice a lot of questions. As long as I am not exhausted, I used to practice. And I used to revise the concepts and I used to improve my concept understanding. So, uh, so in my case, I didn't make any timetable as such. But yeah, it will definitely help to, to be consistent and uh, disciplined. Yeah. And for improving the time management in the exam, obviously that also depends on practice. We have to practice a lot of questions and we have to solve it quickly. And we have to... learn how to use the virtual calculator uh, very quickly because i used to use the virtual calculator from the very beginning itself i used to solve all the all the calculations to it so before entering the data on the virtual calculator i make sure that i get the answer in a single stretch i don't want to enter a lot of questions and get answer so before entering the data i, I made sure that all the data is compact and i get the answer in a single go so what are your future plans sir teja are you planning to join mtech or psu what's your plan yes sir so i prefer to do mtech i am obviously interested in my core sector the lsi and also i have some experience in lsi so i think i know uh, how the work will be and created a lot of interest in me while i was doing the job so i would like to go for mtech sir. so now that you can choose any college of your choice and any branch of your choice because of your rank so what are you going to choose now yeah so i am thinking of choosing uh, either i is bangalore or bombay or madras so i will choose any of these colleges and also yeah in the branch preference will be ls thank you so much raviteja for joining me um, it was uh, really nice talking to you so coaching plays a major role for many of the top rankers in case if you wish to join coaching for gate my top recommendation would be as academy as academy needs no special introduction in fact i was also a student of as when i was preparing for engineering services exam on 29th and 30th of march you can get up to 50% off on many courses from as academy i'll add more details in description make sure you do not miss this opportunity with this i ending this video if you have not subscribed to our channel you will probably never see me again so consider subscribing if i have added any value through this video